y'all seen that's my night routine bro that's basically what i do every night you know what i'm saying uh i built this habit of showering twice a day bro so i shower when i wake up and i actually shower uh at night you know what i'm saying so when i do that process it's like this process you see now i'm gonna do this exactly when i wake up and then from when i wake up i'm gonna do exactly when i go back to sleep so it's just a little schedule i built bro and i noticed as i as i do that it's just, I just be more refreshed, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And then I apply my oils and everything like that. You feel what I'm saying? My uh, batonal oil, as y'all know, for the skin and hair. You know what I'm saying? And I just do it like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? My hair everywhere over the place right now. I might just throw it back in a little ponytail, but nah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know right now. But I'm finna go ahead and get ready to lay it down, bro. But just leave, these, leave this worry right here with y'all, bro. I'm taking it day at a time, and I'm having patience, bro. Every day, you know what I'm saying, I pray to God, you know what I'm saying, that I don't know what the next, I don't know what the next step gonna be, and I try, and I, and I try not to worry about, <clears throat> I try not to worry about the future or the past because we don't know the future or the past. I mean, we know the past, but what good is it gonna do you to keep thinking and living in the past? Probably none. So, um, I also noticed that thinking in the future too long is really pointless to an extent because you ever think about something too much in the future and then it don't even happen how you think it was going to happen. Or let's say you're going to go on some type of, let's say you're real nervous about something and then it happens and then you're like, dang, it actually wasn't that bad. Or let's say... You plan something out a month in the head and it didn't go. I'm pretty sure you heard that saying of things just didn't go as planned because you're not God, bro. Like, you can't tell the future. You can't, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> me personally, I try not to plan too far ahead. And I try not to, well, when it comes to bills and everything, I'm pretty sure everybody got their little set schedule. But when it comes to certain stuff, bro, like, you just can't over you can't overthink about the future bro you know what i'm saying because you if nine times out of ten not gonna go how you planned it anyway i don't went to school with so many people that said man when i graduate i'm gonna do this did 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 probably one percent of them actually did that bro you know what i'm saying and that's actually active and consistent with it you know what i'm saying so that's taking effect too so that's how I really just how i'm doing it right now I'm taking everything day at a time and I'm really just, I'm really just vibing, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? I pretty much, I'm learning in my isolation stage. I'm, I'm vibing in my isolation stage, really, to be honest with you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just vibing right now. I'm working on fasting a lot. That's my main focus right now is fasting and, you know, praying more, uh, building, building this schedule, uploading more. That's just really what I'm on right now, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And staying healthy. That's really what I'm on, bro. And I don't know if it's me, but I was thinking about this, bro. Like, if you put all your wants into money, you ain't gonna never be happy for it in the long run. I mean, yeah, you're gonna be, you probably gonna have temporary happiness when you buy what you want. But you gotta think, bro. Once you buy that, it ain't gonna no longer make you happy after a while. Then you're gonna go buy something else, and then you're gonna go buy something else, and then you're gonna go buy something else. Then it's like you buy, it's like you buy temporary happiness. You know what I'm saying? Which is, if you if that's what you want, do you use your, use your life, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna never be satisfied longevity. It's gonna always be a job to buy happiness. Because to get the money, it's a job. No matter if it's a nine to five, content creating, real estate, no matter what you do, it's every, you gotta work every day. Unless you sit to where you 400 M's up, billionaire like Jeff Bezos, you ain't gotta really do nothing. You can just live life. You know what I'm saying? But even then, it's only at the top. So really, it, it, it it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's only at the top. You're probably going to be depressed at the top anyway. Because it's only at the top. You know what I'm saying? And then, if you're not up like Jeff Bezos or them real rich people, you work, you still working every day. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you M's up, you still working every day. Your favorite celebrity working every day, probably. You know what I'm saying? So if you chase some money, bro, it's gonna always be a. You gonna always work every day, trying to buy that time back, trying to buy that happiness, dog. And dog, uh, one thing about it, when you just worry about money, dog, enough money ain't gonna never be enough, bro. It ain't gonna money ain't never gonna be enough. Like the amount of money ain't gonna never be enough. You gonna want more and more and more and more and more and more and more. You feel me? So. It's like, bro. It's like I don't even. I don't get me wrong, bro. Like, I want big bucks, but like, I'm the type dude, bro. I'm vibing. I'm vibing for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm vibing for real. That's what I be trying to get people to understand. Like, I'm vibing for real, bro. That's why I just get right with God, bro. Cause y'all gotta think. You get so caught up in money and chasing this money. And then, like, when your life over with, when it's time to go upstairs. If you were so money-based, bro, you got to think what people do for money nowadays, bro. People selling they self. People selling they soul. People, people doing everything for a bad, bro. People selling their body. Making only fans and stuff like that, dog. It ain't, I mean, I ain't got nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying, bro. Look what money make people do, bro. Like that's crazy, bro. And I don't even think they think. I don't even know if they think about the consequences or the results of that in the long run. But they not thinking because they thinking about the money, the profit, the revenue, bro. Money make people do anything. That's why I said if you focus on money, you ain't gonna never be happy, bro. You know what I'm saying? People, millions of people got jobs they don't even like. They hate waking up in the morning. Because if you focus on money, you'll never be happy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, bro? Just keep God first and pray, bro. I promise y'all, bro. If y'all would just really look into praying, bro, and getting right with God, it's like, I don't, I fear less. Like, I don't fear, like, I never fear the man or nothing like that. But it's like, Things I used to feel like, like worrying too much. I guess that's a fear. I don't know if that's a fear. I don't know. Or overthinking. I don't know. But I don't do that. I'm starting not to do that no more at all, bro. Like, no cap, bro. Like, this junk. If y'all start praying, getting right with God, bro, y'all gonna see what I'm saying. I don't get on here. Y'all know I ain't gonna get on here just to tell y'all no false tale. I ain't never did that. So, y'all gotta really hit me out, bro.
try to pray every night, bro, and just ask God, be it straight up with God, bro. God know anyway, so you might as well just be real anyway. You know what I'm saying? Be real about everything. Like, look, I don't know you like that. I'm trying to get to know you. I'm reaching out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know him like that, you know, you ain't got no relationship with him. You feel me? But I'll get right, bro. I just feel like it's time to get right, bro. I just feel like times is changing, bro. God got to be making his return because you got to think, bro. Two, three, four years ago, you know what I'm saying? When nobody talking like this for real, for real, bro. Now you go on the internet everywhere and people really talking about getting right with God. This this, this the most I done seen people want to get right with God really since I was, I've been born. I ain't never seen this much people getting right with God into 2020 to 2022. No cap. Since recently. You know what I'm saying? Something got to be shifting and changing here, bro. More people waking up, more people getting right with God, more people changing their they, they health habits to a good way. God got to be doing something here. Y'all got to pay attention to it, bro. And then even though this big wave of God making his return, people is still dumbfounded. Like, they don't know what's going on at all, bro. It's still living the same lifestyle. That goes to show you, bro. God coming back for the ones if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? If you take this information and it implements with your soul, dog, then you one of them ones that was that was brought here for a reason. You one of them ones for real. But if you just send all this information brought to you and you just still just uh, if it then that that's just on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just on you. Like you know what I'm saying? I just can't believe, bro. All the times is changing. So many stuff. So much stuff is like visible now. And people are still blind to it, bro. And some people know the information. Some people know what's right and wrong. And they still choose to do the same thing, bro. That 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 be the bro, I done had a conversation with people that's so intelligent. And they know what to do to better their life. And guess what? They do not do it. Like they broke, bro. They done broke it down to me. They done broke it down to me. How to, bro? They done broke everything down to me. Praying, getting right with God, being one with nature, eating right, scheduling, sleep, bro. They done broke down everything, self improvement, and getting right with the Lord, bro. They done broke it down piece by piece. I'm talking about. I'm on the phone. They uh, 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 breaking it all down and live the complete opposite. I be like, do you take your own advice? Oh yeah, I can't though. It's too hard. Ah man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just grateful for the ones I'm able to inspire and you know get right with God, bro. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm just able that I'm, I'm grateful that God using me as a vessel to, you know what I'm saying, lead others and wake other people up to bring them to Him. You feel me? So. Everything gonna pay off, dog. You know what I'm saying? No count, y'all. Um, I really don't know how how much to explain it more, bro. I really don't know more how to explain it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like one of those things, like, you can keep explaining it, but ain't nobody gonna really get it until y'all, like, get what I'm saying for real. Fasting, I forgot about that. Like, y'all know what's up with the fasting. Like, I don't know if I'm fasting tomorrow. Cause I want to eat up them. I got like some mushrooms in there. I'm trying to eat up before they go bad. Cause they is, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to eat them up before they go bad. And I'll probably do something with them tomorrow. And I don't want to eat right now cause it's too late. I ain't gonna count. I used to be the type where I'm, I'm kind of the type where I like to just eat all the food up in one day that I want to eat. So I won't have to want it or worry about eating it the next day. That way I can fast. And then fast the day after that. And then fast the day after that. Time really go out and buy some more vegetables, you know what I'm saying? Because vegetables go bad quick, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what it is. Vegetables go bad pretty quick. So when you fasting and you're a vegan, it's kind of like, all right, if I go if I go shopping right now, these vegetables are probably going to last a week and a half, two weeks at the best. Probably a week and a half at the best. Yeah, about a week and a few days at the best. So if you're going to do what you're going to do, if you're going to fast, you got to think, especially if you went and bought a lot of groceries. So you you got to eat all that within a week and a half span, or it's gonna go bad. You know what I'm saying? Probably two weeks at the max. It's probably gonna go bad. So if you fast for three, four days a week, 
you only got really what six days and all to eat all that food you done bought. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, it's kind of managing the schedule and when you fast and stuff like that anyway. But man, yeah, dog. What else I want to talk to? It, it, be, it, re, it be really a lot I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? As y'all see, I be vibing on, on a lonely type deal, but it really be a lot I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? That beard coming in too. But I really can just get ready, probably just lay down, vibe. I Man, y'all take that information in, bro, because a lot of people don't watch these vlogs, but I feel like the right people watch these vlogs, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make everything happen for a reason. That's the reason I'm here helping y'all right now, man. So the ones that this is meant for, y'all take this in and y'all 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 stand on it, man. Y'all do it. Everything I do on these vlogs is to inspire y'all, you know what I'm saying? The vibe, the vibes. The vibes that the blogs give off, the food that I eat, me praying, you know what I'm saying? Me manifesting and praying. All of this, y'all, just to show y'all, bro, like, it's another side of life than just these rappers, these YouTubers, with these chains on, all this jewelry, saucing up females, having sex all day, bro. Hey, it's a whole different life than that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Trust me. Cause you got a thing, bro. That lifestyle cool, bro. But it's like, if you know, you know, bro. If you know, you know. You got to answer to everything you do, bro, down here. You got to answer to everything you do down here, man. So, man, I love y'all, man. Y'all already know what's up. Probably finna kick back, relax. This is Bob's day five. I'm a day behind, it's cool though. But yeah, man, I ain't do much, probably ain't gonna do much tomorrow, but this camera will be on, cause we holding down for the vlogmas, man. I'll praise to the most high God. I love y'all, love you.